Strandberg Proc NX7 is a headless guitar, well obviously, and it has a multi-scale fretboard which allows for better tone on both the low strings and the high strings while keeping the high strings very playable. And this is because the low strings can be kept longer with a different scale length than the high strings with a shorter scale length. Now Stromberg was kind enough to send me this guitar for review. Well, upon my request, they didn't pay me anything. Um, but I'm looking at a few different multi-scale guitars at the moment. And the first thing I noticed when picking this up is how light it is because of the headless design, of course, but it's only five and a half pounds. And that's also because of the Swamp S chambered body. Now, the most important thing when picking up a guitar is if it sounds good and if it's playable, right? So that's why the Swamp Ash body also comes in. This makes it highly resonant and Swamp Ash is also known for its firm lows and twangy highs, which makes it perfect for a balanced seven string guitar. The dense wood of the maple neck produces a bright and sharp tone, which pairs perfectly with the Swamp Ash body. And you'll find this combination a lot in Fender guitars in Stratocaster. So it's obvious that they wanted the Prog NX7 to be a very versatile guitar as well. And you could say this is a good headless strut with a more ergonomic design, but the choice of pickups is where the analogy ends. This model has active fishman pickups, the modern Elnico at the neck and the modern ceramic at the bridge. And together with the two voicings, the fishman fluence pickups have with the push-pull in the tone knob. This gives you a lot of tonal opportunity. At the neck you get a tremendous active humbucker sound with the first voicing with a full and boosted sound. Perfect for distorted solos in the higher regions of the guitar. You click to the second voicing and you get a more clean and crisp sound. At the bridge you get a crisp growl with a tight low end without getting muddy. Perfect for the seventh string. Click to the second voicing and you get a more passive humbucker tone with a lot of dynamic response. And the fluence score in these Fishman pickups is wound differently than most pickups with two multi-connected layer boards, so it's able to eliminate any hum or noise. split in the volume knob to get even more tonal possibilities. Now my favorite position is the pickup in the middle position with the cold split to get a little bit of twang. fretboard plays great it's not quite a tonal wood uh, but it's uh, similar to ebony but the real magic comes from the back of the neck with the endur shape profile it's not quite a c shape or a d shape but it changes along the neck of the guitar and when you're playing fast licks and flying across the fretboard it can be hard to position your head correctly every time because the position in the middle of the neck plays so differently from the top of the neck i thought it would play strange because it's so different but it feels quite natural i haven't played it long enough to be able to say that this will avoid injury but i do see the point of this design <laughs> The tremolo system works great and I haven't been able to get this out of tune even if I tried and that's one of the major advantages of having a headless design. <laughs> very 
well designed and thought out without the constraints of traditional guitar making. From the innovative neck shape to the ergonomic lap rest in different positions to even the way the guitar cable is positioned underneath the body so it doesn't get in the way. Now the most obvious disadvantage here is that it has a certain look. You will almost certainly be labeled as progressive if you come out on stage playing this. But I guess that's a personal choice. And at this price range, it's only for serious musicians. But it does give you a lot of tonal options to play with.